So guys, I thought I'd give you an update. I had to go see a neurologist. We had to get up way early in the morning too. And it's very rainy. Uh, we met some little homeless kids. You know, they had worked. Um, I'm gonna leave the video up attached to this. They had worked, both of them worked at fast food restaurants. And because they didn't have a home and they couldn't wash their clothes every day and stuff, they got fired. Now, so they were working and homeless and got fired. They couldn't save money up, enough money up to get a place to live. So they were fired. Um, something's wrong with this country and I can't stand it. And they were out in the rain. They sleep in the rain. Their stuff was all soaking wet. They were trying to dry it out the best they could. Um, you know, they had a little cat. You know, that's family to them. They're young. Um, and we need to start helping the young people. I mean, they're our future, and if we can't stop and help our future, then something's wrong with us as a society. Now, my update on what happened, um, I went and saw a neurologist, uh, Dr. Jobert, who said um, that it seemed like I had a, what, what did he say, something wrong with my... Herniated disc. A herniated disc because I have no um, feelings down the one arm. They were doing those little pin pricks and there's like no feeling and stuff. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd give you that update. And like I said, I'm going to put this, this one uh, video at the end of the kids. And if you're out in the Olympic, Olympia, Washington area where I stated, which is near um, Trader Joe's and uh, Petco or PetSmart or whatever it was, Please stop by and give them a buck or two, a pack of cigarettes, uh, something, anything. Just give them something, a warm blanket, um, clothes, shoes. I mean, they were down to hardly anything. Love you guys. Linda's out of here. Peace. If I can turn this off. All right. Um, hi, I'm Linda out here, and we're in Olympia, Washington. And this is what is now happening. The youngsters are homeless, right? You want to? You don't have to give me your name. And they have a cat here, a beautiful, <laughs> and it's a male cat. His name's Orion. His name's Orion. And and you didn't put yourself in this situation. You both worked, right? Yeah, I worked. I worked, I worked at McDonald's. You worked at McDonald's. It I does. At Taco Bell. <laughs> and you worked at Taco Bell. And and we know that a lot of people boycotted. McDonald's recently because of the way they treated their employees and made them punch out and still work um, you know while they're not on the clock and stuff which was unfair so what I wanted to do is say that we know there's a group of us that know that there's more and more homeless people out there and I, what I'm going to do is if anybody's in the Olympia area and we're near the uh, PetSmart and Trader Joe's stop by and help these guys out it's really cold and rainy today and um, we hate seeing this and they've got an animal and, and I know some people say oh well if they can afford an animal well look that's their family just like you know what, what would you like me to say get rid of you know your kid <laughs> so um, I just wanted to do this while he ran in there real quick but you know we're all one nickel away from being where you're at right now and so I'm just doing this for support and you'll be on YouTube. Yeah. We're fighting, I, I don't believe in the government. I believe the government hasn't done one damn thing to help any of us right now. I actually, my t-shirt says I'm ungovernable. It says expect or respect um, existence or respect existence, we are ungovernable. Nice and, and we follow that, so I just wanted you to know that you know I'm sorry we couldn't give you much but you know I hope it helps and I hope a lot of people come by today and show some love I mean I don't care where you live if, if you're you know doing it I don't even care if you're going and buying a pack of cigarettes you know it's not my business my business is that no one should be out on the streets yeah. you, do you know what I'm saying yeah. having to live this way and you guys are too young to have to learn this it's hey, sad it's really cool that you're doing uh, I'm just doing this. I'm, t I'm, I'm getting pissed off of seeing every place we go. I see more and more people um, sleeping like in the evening. We live in a real rural area 
and they're trying to at least hide from the police because the yeah. police uproot you. Is that true? Yeah, they wake you up. You're not allowed to sleep anywhere. Like yeah, they'll wake you up in the middle of the rain. And they'll be like, can't sleep here. Yeah, we're, we're waiting for somebody over at Ace Hardware, and the cop, it was raining, and uh, it's like some lady that feeds us sometimes, and the cop's like, can't wait here, no loitering, so he's, we're like, where do you want us to wait in the rain? He's like, yep. Like, well, no, wait a minute, you know, so uh, was this in Olympia? Yeah. Hey, right, watch this. To you, Olympia, Olymp Olympia, Washington, terrorist police, um, it's about time to treat humans as human beings. And the definition of terrorism, or, or being a terrorist, is one, um, I've got it wrote down on my website, but actually it fits the government. It's someone who pretty much makes you comply under force of fear and stuff. So it actually terrorist and terrorism, yeah. Actually, that word defines our government more than it does regular human beings out here just trying to live. And you guys are too young to be out here doing this. And I'm sorry you have no place to live. We're, we're really pretty close behind you, I have to be quite honest. Um, we're probably a few months behind you. Uh, so if you're ever out in the McClary area, you know, and we see you, we'll pick you up. <laughs> so, but you know, you probably make more money out here. I mean, McClary's, blown, you know, it's kind of getting blown away like a dust bowl. People, I mean, there's so many empty houses where people could be living. You did, I know you see this everywhere. And uh, they're all foreclosed or, uh, you know, on or, well, they're not even condemned. They've, they've kicked the owners out for the false, that false mortgage foreclosure thing. So those people are out on their own, usually living with family. Now, what they could be doing with those homes is putting people like you in there, and uh, then you could get set, and we could bring jobs back to America. Shoot, we need some good organic farmers. That's what we used to do, but we can't do it because of the rules and laws, so we just grow food and give it away now. Did you hear that law? Um, which is against the law to do. For me to come and say, here, here's a sack of tomatoes and yeah. some eggs from my chickens and stuff. Really? Well, I don't really give a shit what they say, so. But I just wanted to say, hey guys, good luck, and if anybody's in Olympic, are you guys here a lot? Yeah. Okay, if you're near Trader Joe's and the Petco, come give the sweet little couple a hand. They've got a beautiful little kitty cat that's really healthy. Um, it's not right anyway, sleeping in this weather. It is not warm here. It is actually cool and it's rainy. And sometimes we have the sideways rain with the winds. Yeah. Hey, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug you guys. I love you. Um, uh, my name is Linda Little Bear. Linda Little Bear? Linda Little Bear, and we are activists and, um, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube as soon as I get home, and maybe we can get some people in Washington State because there's a lot that watch it. Yeah. To and and look, they put all you know they're not religious here to preach to you or anything else. They put all differences aside, and they'll come up and just help you. So, and that's the way it should be. We should all unite. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you go now. So maybe I might be standing in the way of people coming. Probably not, but no. <laughs> I'm glad you got something hot chocolate there. So. Yeah, they're giving away free, well, kind of free coffee in there. It's like some appreciation day. Well, you keep going back in there and tell them appreciate me because I'm a human being. <laughs> and uh, okay, we love you and uh, good luck today. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, bye bye. Okay.